Hello, grade 12s, once more. In your test or exams, they might ask you guys to find the equation of a tangent line, right? So a tangent line is the line that touches your circle um, at one point, right, in its circumference, right? Okay, cool. So basically, a tangent is a straight line that just touches the circle at one point in the circumference of the circle, right? So the equation of this line will be in the form y is equals to mx plus c, right? You know? However, now you might be given limited information from what we guys learned um, in analytical geometry that um, you were taught for grade 10s, right? To actually find this equation. And so now we're going to use the properties that we have learned um, um, the properties of a circle that will enable us to actually find this um, equation right here. Okay, cool. First and foremost, CD, right? CD is the radius, the radius of the circle, of the circle, right? And then the tangent line is perpendicular to the radius, right? So let's call this, I don't know, um, let's call it L1, um, right? Let's call the radius L2, right? So basically, what we know is that L2, which is the radius, is perpendicular to what? To the tangent line, which is L1, right? So um, let me just put it, the radius, the radius is perpendicular to the tangent line right there. Okay, so if the two lines are perpendicular, what does that tell us about the gradient, right, um, of both lines, right? We have learned this. Let me just get another color right here. It means that, this is what it means, is that the gradient um, of the radius, the gradient of the radius multiplied by the gradient of the tangent the tangent line is equals to negative one right this is very important guys that you for, that you um remember you know what i'm saying so if two lines are perpendicular the product of their gradient what i mean by the product is if i times or multiply their gradients i'm gonna get negative one so that is actually um important you know, and also since these guys um, are actually perpendicular, this angle right here is 90 degrees. Okay, now, so basically, um, how do you actually sketch? How to sketch, right? Oh, sorry, how to sketch, um, not to sketch, how to determine, how to determine the equation right of the tangent right um line you know okay so basically um there are ways that have been put for you guys to determine the equation of the tangent line okay first of all you need to determine first of all you need to determine 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 right the equation of the circle the equation of the circle um, in this form x minus a or squared plus a sorry plus y minus b or squared is equals to um, r squared okay so this can be plus minus plus minus depending on the sign of a and b and depending on the center itself right okay cool First of all, you, you, you determine the equation of a circle in this manner, right? And then secondly, guys, from the equation, from the equation, equation of the circle, which is this one right here, you know what I'm saying? You're going to extract the center, right? So the center of this, let's say A is positive and B is positive. So the center right here will be A and B. Right. The reason I said the reason I said let's say A is positive and B is positive is because if A was negative right here, so it's just, just going to be a negative multiplied by a negative, hence it's just going to be a positive, and so here it's just going to be a negative. But anyway, um, 
this will be the center right okay cool um also we need now uh, okay point number three we need now to actually determine determine the gradient right of um the radius right the gradient of the radius and how are we going to find the gradient of the radius um okay c if we know c right there um that c is equal to this that's why it's very important to determine the equation of the circle in this manner right and so d right here might be given to you they, they might say that um the tangent line um touches the circle at a point d and then they might they might give you d right there you know what i'm saying so basically you're going to determine the gradient of c d which is equals to um, obviously the coordinates of the two things right there the gradient of c d you know so it's going to be y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 right so it's the change in y over the change in x all right okay so you're going to determine your gradient then after you determine your gradient all right you're going to use this equation the gradient all right of the radius that you would have found right here multiplied by the gradient that you don't know now of the tangent it might depend you might know one of them right is equal to negative one okay cool guys okay cool so let's say you know this one right now how would you find the gradient of your tangent um so the gradient of your tangent line line will equals to negative one divided by the gradient of your radius okay okay guys cool cool so now number five you're going to determine the equation you've got the gradient of um, your tangent line and you've got point you've got a point point d so if you've got the the, the gradient and a point you can determine the equation of a straight line or the tangent line in this case okay guys let's do a quick ex example right you might ask to determine determine the equation of a tangent line tangent line to the circle to the circle right so you might be given a circle right here um x squared plus y squared minus 2y plus 6 um, x minus 7 is equals to 0. Okay, this is the equation of the circle, but now we're like, what in the world is going on? Where is the um, x minus something and all squared plus y minus something? So we're going to take it from this form right to this form. And the manner in which we're going to do that, um, you guys learned this. We taught you in the previous video that you're gonna complete the square but now you're gonna complete the square in terms of y complete the square in terms of um x also okay cool let's just quickly dive right into it you know so we're still on point number one okay sure um so it's x squared um plus six x uh plus y squared minus two y is equals to take seven the other side so it's going to be seven okay okay so if you complete the square right here guys it's going to be x squared plus six x plus half the coefficient of x and then we square it right so it's going to be half of six is um okay let me just put it six divided by two all squared such that if you don't remember how to complete the square okay plus this thing this um guy right here and then also we're gonna subtract it at the same time but i'm just gonna put it at the end the subtraction part and then let's come to the y's now so it's y squared minus 2y plus the co if this coefficient of y divided by 2 so it's negative 2 divided by 2 right here then minus the same thing then i'm gonna put it at the end this is equals to 7 all right so i said here plus 6 over 2 squared, right? And then also I'm going to say, plus
plus 6 over 2 squared minus 6 over 2 squared. So if it goes to the other side, it's going to be plus 6 over 2 squared. Same applies to this one. This one was negative 2 over 2 all squared, right? Then it was going to be now minus negative 2 over 2 all squared. So if you take it the other side, it's going to be plus negative 2 over 2 all squared. So, okay, guys, we are almost there. So um, this is x squared. Let me just put it x squared plus 6x plus 3 all squared plus y squared minus 2y um, plus um, um, negative 1 all squared is equals to 7. 6 over 2 squared is plus 3 squared plus negative 1 squared. Okay, guys. So we continue. So now, if we, if we actually take this into the simpler form, it's going to be x plus 3 all squared plus y, y minus 1, all squared is equals to 7, okay, 3 squared is 9, right? Then negative 1 squared is 1, you know? So 7 plus 9, that is 16, 16 plus 1 is going to be 17. Okay, cool. So this is our equation of the circle, right? But now from this equation, what is our center? Our center is negative 3 and what? Negative 3 and 1 right here. You know? Don't write, guys, that it's positive 3 and negative 1. You know? Because it's going to take the opposite sign. You know? The center. And then, what is our radius? Just for interest, we're not going to use it, but just for interest, our radius is the square root of 17. The square root of 17. Okay, that's not the... Uh, prettiest seven right there. Okay, cool. Um, then we continue. We are done with the first step. The second step from the equation. Okay, we already found this is the second step. Then determine the gradient of the radius. Okay, so three. Okay, determine the equation of the tangent to this line, right? And then also we are given a point on the circumference of the circle, point A, which is negative two and five, right? Okay. So basically, we've got point A, negative 2 and 5. Then we've got the center, negative 3 and 1. So we're going to determine the gradient of this right here. So just imagine, guys, that maybe um, our circle is something like this. Negative 3, 1, 2, 3. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 1, somewhere here. So, okay, it's not the prettiest circle in the world. But hey, you know, okay, cool. So... A is negative 2 and 5. A is negative 2 somewhere here and 5. So it's like some of this. This is, this is our radius. Sorry about that. This is our radius here. And our, 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 our 10. Sorry. It's going to just touch and not cut, guys. Because it's not going to be a tangent anymore if it actually cuts. Okay, cool. So it's going to be something like this. So the equation, right, of the what? Of the radius is the gradient now, you know? So let's say this is y1 and x1. This is y2 and x2. So it's going to be 1 minus 5 divided by negative 3 minus minus 2. Okay? So this equals to minus 4 divided by negative. Okay, this is... Negative multiplied by a negative. Sorry about that, guys. Negative multiplied by a negative is going to be positive. So negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1. This equals to 4. So that is the um, gradient of the radius. But now the gradient of the what? The tangent. This is equals to, we stated it here. So it's going to be negative 1 divided by the gradient of the radius. So it's negative 1 divided by the gradient of the radius. So this is our gradient right here. So we are done, guys. We are done. The last step is y is equal to mx plus c. Okay, let me just put it here. y is equal to mx plus c, right? So we can just substitute here. So, um, okay. We've got point A, point A is negative 2 and 5. So we're going to substitute um, point A and the gradient, right? 
Okay, cool. To find the y-intercept. Um, okay, cool. What well, the y-intercept is c, by the way. So y is five is equals to what is the um the the gradient? The gradient is negative one over four. Then what is x? X is negative two plus c. So now we are gonna solve for c right here. You know. Okay, so negative two multiplied by a quarter is gonna be a half, a half, right? So we're gonna take a half that side. So c is five minus one over two. This equals to, um, it's four point five, right? Um, but in actually clear terms, c will equals to nine over two. Okay. So finally, now what is our equation? Y is equals to what is the gradient? The gradient is negative one over four x plus 9 over 2. This is the equation, guys, of the tangent line. So please look at it again, guys, and then um, if you've got any questions, uh, let me on the comments below or email me, and then I'll be glad to assist you guys. Do stay blessed. Enjoy the rest of your day.